Greetings, curious viewers. This is Tool Tips from Tommy. And uh, I'm Tommy, duh. Today I'm going to show you guys the uh, Bosch GLM50C, which is their full featured laser range finder. It's actually a really cool measuring tool. It does a lot of things, and I'm going to show you some of it, make it easy on you. First of all, to turn it on, you hit either one of the red buttons to turn it on. To turn it off, you hit the bottom red button, hold it for a couple of seconds, turns it off. So, real easy. What I'm going to go through is I'm going to go through the buttons, the functions, and the settings. So, if you just bought this and you need to know how to work it, this should help. And if you're thinking about buying it, I'm going to show you some of the features that are going to help you make that decision. So, uh, first, let's go ahead and turn her on. And we'll talk about the buttons here on the front. So, when you first turn it on, it's going to go to live measurement. So, that's... That's the default setting, and it's always going to measure from the back of the device, but I'll talk about that in a second. So, uh, first, I talked about power. Now you got your plus and your minus. Real easy. It's going to help when you get to measurement memories and when you do some of the settings and stuff, you just plus and minus. I don't know if that, that needs a whole lot of definition, but uh, the button down here uh, in the corner, that's going to be your measuring spot. So, where the tool is going to measure from. As I said, default, it's always going to measure from the back of the device. 90% of the time, that's what you're going to be doing. Um, but if you do need to change it, you just push it. Now you can change that measurement from the front of the device. You can also change it to the middle or actually the mount. So if you're going to screw it on, put it on a, a, a tripod, maybe use a, a plumb and measure from a spot on the floor, uh, that's where you would mount it and you'd set it to your, your center measurement right there. But default, it's always going to measure from the back of the device. Uh, next is the, uh, well, the power off button in the C, which means clear. So that's real easy. If you take a measurement, I'm going to clear it out. So there we got the measurement. Clear, it's going to take it to zero. Just like a calculator back in the old days, if you remember calculators. So that's what C is. Uh, this feature, this unit also offers Bluetooth, which is nice. So you can hit the Bluetooth button, turn it on. Uh, now it's going to look for something that uh, a tablet or a phone that has Bluetooth, you pair it up, and then you can use the Measure On app from Bosch, and you can actually use this to make measurements, transfer it right to the uh, to the app. It's really cool. I'm going to do another video on the Measure On app. So uh, it's real cool. You just turn the Bluetooth on, and if once it's paired, uh, every time you uh, you turn it on, it's going to link up to whatever device you had paired it with. So um, really cool. Let's go ahead and turn the Bluetooth off. Just waste battery if you. If you're not going to be using it, go ahead and turn it off and your batteries will go longer. So, so that's the uh, the buttons around the outside. The, the big one, the most important one, of course, is going to be the function button. Well, uh, you know, of course, the measuring button is the most important one, the red one right there. But the function button is what's going to change all the, uh, change it between its measuring capabilities. So you push and you hold the function button down and that's going to bring you to the settings category. So you can set... Uh, feet and meters. Maybe you're European and you want to, you know, you don't want to use the imperial measurement. You want to use meters uh, or the metric system. That's where you would do that. So you've got a couple of different ones. Um, centimeters, feet in decimals, feet in fractions, feet in fractions as well. And then your, there's your, your metric or your uh, meters in uh, decimals. So uh, I personally prefer feet and decimals. So that's what we're going to keep it at. Um, but uh, let's go back to that settings menu. You can also turn the uh, the beep on and off. If you want to make the battery go longer, you can turn the beep off and your batteries will last longer. But uh, I prefer that tactile feedback of the beep, knowing that uh, when I push a button, it, uh, it you know, it's doing what it's doing. So uh, this one right here is where you can set it to go off on landscape. If you don't want to use the landscape function, you can turn it off. I totally prefer the landscape function so when you go sideways it uh, gives you that landscape makes it easy to read when you do a measurement sideways and then it'll flip back up this to portrait uh, when you turn it up so that's your landscape and then there's also a calibration in fact when you first get the tool uh, you want to calibrate it so when you go to calibration I've already calibrated this one so I'm not going to go through it but um, basically you lay it flat you want to find a really flat surface use a welding table or something really flat table uh, hit the uh, the arrow key and then it flips it the other way hit the arrow key flips it back the other way and then once that way so it's going to run you through that once it's all done it uh, it says your 
you're calibrated, and you're good to go. Uh, there's also a built-in inclinometer. You can turn that on and off. If you don't want the inclinometer on the screen, you can turn it off. I like the inclinometer. It's right there on the side, so as you go flat, it'll... You know, it uh, tells you your level right there and tells you what degree you're at. I love that feature on this unit, so I'm going to keep it turned on. Uh, and I think that's, yep, yeah, that's it. So you've got your feet, or imperial metric, speaker, landscape, calibration, inclinometer. So, and then the other, uh, the other, the, the standard function key, of course, you hit function, and now you can go through all the different, uh, all the different measure, measuring capabilities of the device. So when you first turn it on, it's going to go um, default to real-time measurement. So when you turn it on, wherever that laser is hitting, that's going to give you the measurement. And then you've got area, which is really simple. That's square footage. Um, maybe a flooring contractor needs to know how many square feet of flooring he needs to buy. So he would measure, you know, you got your X and your Y axis. It's really simple. If you need to add up rooms, you would do X and Y axis in one room. Then you'd hit plus. You could add another room and another room and another room. It'll give you the square footage of the whole house. If you made a mistake, you can always hit back and it'll take you back. So uh, that's a cool one. And then to take it a step further, you've got volume. So that gives you that X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, gives you uh, maybe an air conditioning guy needs to know how much, uh, how, what the volume of a home is for you know, his air conditioning unit, he's got to provide cold air for the house. So he needs to know what the volume of the house is. So he would measure each room, X, Y, Z axis, and then add it up to the next room, to the next room, to the next room, so on. And he would have the volume of the whole house. So uh, the next one is indirect measurement. Maybe you've got a building and you need to know how tall it is and you don't have something at the top to uh, hit the laser on. You can actually measure it at the bottom and then you measure it at the top and it uses the uh, Pythagorean theorem, A squared, B squared equals C squared, and it'll give you that height. There's also another one where it'll give you that indirect length by using the same uh, principle. You make that long, that tie measurement, and the, uh, the flat measurement, and it'll tell you what that bottom, that indirect length is. And then the last one is a double height where you can actually stand and you can measure it at the bottom, measure it at the top, and it'll use the inclinometer built in, and it'll give you that double height. So. Uh, let's see, what's the uh, the next one is your layout, your wall area. So if maybe a painter has, you know, a bunch of rooms to paint and they all have the same height uh, wall or ceiling, you would make one ceiling height measurement and then you would go and measure all the walls and it'll add them all up and give you the square footage of the, uh, the entire surface area. And then stake out, this is a kind of a cool one here for somebody who needs to put Maybe, a, you know, it says stake out. If you got to drop a stake every foot or every eight feet, or maybe you got to put a, a plug in at every eight feet, an electrician needs to know where to put a plug, and he wants to do it every eight feet, you would set that, and then, you know, you would set it. Let's see, I actually have it set at a half a foot for video purposes. It's going to make it really easy. I'll show you the, uh, the green lines, but you can um, actually, we can scroll over. You can go to, maybe we want to go... I don't know, 100 feet, 100 and a half feet. It'll only do one because this is uh, maxed out at 165 feet, as I said earlier. So it's not going to go to 200 feet, of course, because one is as far as it's going to go. Um, but um, you scroll through. Maybe you want to do nine and a half feet, eight and a half feet, seven and a half feet, so on, so on. Like I said, the uh, half a feet is going to make it easier for us for the video purposes. Um, so once you're ready, you hit the check. Now we're at half a foot, and you can see as I scroll over here, there's one. And then as we scroll a little bit further away, we're going to see there's the second one at one and a half, or third one at one and a half. Let's see if I can get another one in frame here at four feet, or the fourth one there, two feet. So at each one of those, you would drop your stake there, and drop your stake there. And then can I get that first one in here? drop your stake there so you guys can't see that one but anyway you get the idea so that's your stake out uh, and then memory of course that's an easy one just like your calculators back in the day or your phone or anything has a memory this one will save as you can see it'll save 30 measurements and you can use the plus and minus to scroll back 29 28 27 um, so maybe you forgot a measurement or you need to reference it for some reason, you can go back and look at it. It will also remember if you did a square footage measurement or remember that one as well and give you both your 
XY axis, or if you did a volume, it'll go XYZ axis and give you your square footage. So it remembers the, con the entire measurement. So very nice. As you start to get, maybe when you do your 31st one, it'll bump the oldest one off and then it'll move it down to 30. So that's nice. That's your memory. And then the level, this is a really cool function. It's got, as I said earlier, it's got the built-in inclinometer. So when you put it on level, um, it works as like a bubble level when it's flat. So actually it looks like my, my dryer here is actually almost pretty flat. When it gets to flat, you'll hear it beep. And then when you go up on edge, it gives you degree of pitch. So um, handicap ramps, driveways, things that need pitch, this will give you the degree. Um, it's very nice. Even a plumber who's got to have pitch on a drain pipe to make sure it's, you know, draining, that's going to give you that pitch. So that's really cool as well. All right, so I think that's it. You got your length. This is a, this is the one that the real-time measurement is the default one. The length is just your standard, basically, tape measure. So you hit the button, and it's going to do a measurement. Hit the button again, it's going to do a measurement. So that's your tape measure uh, function right there. Hit the button, and they just scroll up. And those are going to all be in memory. Of course, if I go to memory, those are going to be the last three that I, that I did. There you go, 28. 2.2, 2.27 feet. So, um, yeah, so that's your just your standard length measurement. So those are the buttons. That's the function, and those are all your different uh, measuring capable capabilities of the uh, device. And you just scroll through them. It even tells you at the top, so I don't even know if this video is relevant because you can just read it on the top, and it'll tell you which one each one is. So uh, really cool little device. Uh, hope I helped. Take care. Once again, this is Tool Tips from Tommy. Bye-bye.